Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a skin like exfoliation, like doing my eyebrows and all of that stuff. And I'm making this video because I have some events coming up this weekend that I want to look good for. But I wanted to see if like all the things I do actually make a difference or if I'm just doing it and my face doesn't look any different. So I'm going to do like a before and I'm going to do an after. Um, I don't do like that many things, but I'm going to like exfoliate and you can watch me do it because I know you care. And I'm going to do my side by side and see if it made a difference. So this is before. Still really cute. Okay. I'm going to take a picture. This is what I have. No, no, no. That's not going to do it right. Okay. Before. start off with just washing my face I'm still using my Curology cleanser no forget that I want to use my black soap this is my liquid black soap from Churu Urembo um, skincare and it's for face and body and I really like it um, I'm Liberian so we have our own black soap I just wanted to try a black owned you know like I guess black American owned business but I'm probably I do like this so if you're into this I I recommend getting this um, but I'm probably just going to get um, a cake of black soap from the local African store so so I'm going to start off with this. I decided I'm going to exfoliate today. Um, there's no battery, so I'm just going to do it like this. But I'm going to start off with this brush just to get things clean. And then I'm going to go in with the exfoliating brush. So I'm going to start off by wetting my face. My face wet. And then I'm going to, I'm going to actually put this on my face first with my hands. And this is what it looks like. It's like liquidy and brown. I'm going to put it on my face. You don't need a lot because, you know, it's liquid still. So. It's gonna seem like I'm scrubbing for a really long time, but I was watching this other, I think she was a dermatologist, and she said it's best to work your product into your face for a minute. So if you're washing your face with any kind of soap, you wash that in for a minute. If you're moisturizing, um, you do that for a minute as well. I found that um, my products have more of an effect when I do that. So this is what I'm doing here in this video. I don't recommend scrubbing as hard as I did. I don't know what I was thinking because that can't be good for your skin. And I definitely would not recommend doing half of the stuff I did afterwards. But like I said, I'm new to this, so bear with me and be patient. Thank you. So like this is my problem area, so I'm gonna make sure I get that. I was scrubbing for a really, 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 really long time, clearly. But I think a minute is over soon. So if you've watched for this long, I don't know what you're doing, but thanks. Appreciate you.
Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it did a pretty good job of getting my dead skin cells off, but I'm gonna rinse it now and go back with the other brush. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use this one more time while it's wet, and then I'm going to rinse. Now I'm going to rinse it all off. So while my face is still wet, I'm going to do my eyebrows, my mustache, and um, what else? I'm just going to, you know, like in between my eyebrows. And then I'm actually going to go around my face because I know that when you shave your face, it helps with the makeup application being a lot smoother. Right now, I'm looking for my eyebrow brush so that I can get my eyebrows out of the way so they don't get shaved off. It's pretty brown. I love them. And now I'm gonna, you know, do the shaving here because actually, maybe I can do it like this. No, I don't like it there. I'm going to do it here. Come on. When I do my eyebrows, I don't really take too much off. I just try to kind of clean it up and then give it a little bit of an arch. But I like my eyebrows the way they are because they're thick. Some would call them bushy. I just like the way they are on my face. I think the way they are naturally is, you know, I think it works for me. I'm gonna re-wipe my face because it's getting dry already. All right, now I'm shaving my face. It gets rid of the little tiny hairs um, I don't know what those tiny hairs do. I'm probably, I'm sure they probably do something physiologically important, but we're going to shave them off because we want our makeup to look good because that's what matters in life. Am I right? And you can see on the sides of my face, the little black stuff, that's the little hairs that got removed.
I'm gonna go back in with my Curology cleanser because it's really um, gentle. Using my nuts. Again, this is the one minute rule. So you see me going in with the cleanser and making sure I'm working the product into my skin. This is not me giving you advice because in order to give advice, you have to know something yourself. This is trial and error, and if it works, yay. If not, we'll try something new. Rinse it off. Please note this is not a tutorial. I don't think I have like that great skin to be giving out advice. I'm just showing what I do to see if it makes a difference. Okay. Let me, I usually do my face mask, but I don't know if I have it. face mask. It's the pure clay uh, mask from I think L'Oreal. Yep, L'Oreal. Should have probably shaved my face after the mask. But I live and learn, right, kid? And I'm like almost out, so that's why I'm like putting it in the, on in the weird way that I'm doing. Water, see if it helps. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, so while this mask is going, I'm going to clean up my area so I don't have to, you know, do it later. So while my mask is, you know, doing whatever the masks do, I'm going to show you what I'm going to put on my face next. So, so far I've used 
Shuri Rimmel's Black Soap. And um, the cleanser from Curology. And the Pure Clay Mask from L'Oreal. Next, after I wash off my mask, I'm going to use the moisturizer from Curology. And the True Rimbo Skincare um, Face Serum. It's turmeric. It's blemish serum. So I got that in addition to a cream that I used on my face. It's really thick. Also from True Yorimbo, it's the dark spot corrector and hyper for hyperpigmentation and blemishes. And um, they both have turmeric, which is supposed to be known for, you know, like skin brightening or like fighting hyperpigmentation. So I'm just gonna wait on my mask as I continue to clean up. Gonna leave out the eyebrow cleanser because I don't know if it's gonna turn out right and if I have to go back in or not. So just leave it out. I'm looking at my face now and I thought I did a good job of shaving it, but apparently not. It is what it is. Alright, I'm gonna rinse it off now because I don't want it on anymore. Clearly I'm really good at this. So does anyone else spit a million times when they're washing their face? Just me? Oh uh, okay. And now we pat dry the skin instead of rubbing because that's supposed to be better for it, I think. Okay, it looks like my skin's glowing a little bit, right? Right? Oh, also here's the thing. Um, today is... Today is Thursday. Um, my events are on Saturday and the reason I did it a couple days before is in case I mess something up and my skin has a bad, react a bad reaction, at least I have time to, you know, compensate and try to figure things out. Clearly I trust myself and know what I'm doing. Alright, so. We're gonna go moisturizer. I don't even have to tell you, you already know we're doing the one minute rule, right? Okay. And now we're gonna go in with the serum. And 
so it's really oily. I forgot that. So I'm not gonna go in with the third thing because that's overkill. Okay, this is super oily. I'm gonna have to get some more. but not that much. Okay, so this is a new towel, so it's getting fuzzies all over my face. So when I first made the video, I didn't think that the skincare thing made a difference. But now that I'm watching again, I think it looks a little different than it did at the beginning. I'm really not sure. From the side, it looks really good. From the front, I still have those, like, pimples that were annoying me, but I don't expect that to happen instantaneously. Alright, so, I mean, I guess, this is the after. Thanks for watching.